Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Blight figure. Does it say anything else? Uh, Batman Beyond Atomic Edition. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't remember. I, I remember Blight having like a black jacket and his bones showing. I don't know what this is exactly. I got it because it looked really cool. I thought it'd be fun to review and I know it's a Batman Beyond character. So I would put that with my Batman Beyond figure. But if anybody can shed some light on Blight. <laughs> oh man, I crack my, no. If anybody can tell me what this suit is or what this look is, you, I'd be happy to hear that or read that in the comment section below. But it looks like a really cool figure and so I wanted to review it. So here we are. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands, I'm gonna count not at the very top of the flame tips, but pretty close, about 20 centimeters. And that's gonna make him just about seven and three quarter inches, right around there. And he's gonna be a little bit taller than Batman Beyond. I'll have photos at the end for you to take a look at that. And like I said, this is just a really cool looking figure. But first, question of the day. If you had to pick only one company to buy comic-based figures from going forward, would it be McFarlane Toys or Hasbro? For me, and this is like a hypothetical thing where they make all the comic figures. It's not like you're getting DC or only Marvel. They would just all go to that, that brand, okay? So for me, I'm gonna go with McFarlane Toys. They do a bunch of really weird stuff that I hate, but they're trying a lot, and I like Todd a lot more than I like the nameless suits that I've never heard of, obviously, but they have to exist at Hasbro. Uh, being a publicly traded company is a factor, obviously, and, uh, you know, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about Todd, but you know who he is for a reason, and I like his company in a lot of ways, so I would pick them. Um, this figure is a good example. They try, at least on some things, a lot, and I like that. Okay, so, let's talk about this figure. It stands out from the bunch at McFarlane Toys. This thing looks really good. Proportions are really, really nice. They're not perfect for my taste. I'd like his arms to be a little bit beefier at the top half. The biceps are tiny. Like, there's not really any meat to the bicep, but he's got really chunky forearms and really meaty legs and a very thick chest, so I think a little bit more bicep would have gone a long way. But otherwise, it looks really good, and that's mostly hidden by the armor anyways, so that's pretty cool. The whole thing is sculpted with this really nice texture pattern. I love that. The armor is really sharp sculpt. There's no soft sculpting going on here. I like that a whole bunch. I like that the green things are sculpted all the way around. That's very nice. Very, very well put together. The knees don't quite match which is unfortunate. It's not as bad as some of the things we've seen from both companies though. Elbows don't quite match either. I like that they tried to do some of this transparent plastic throughout the torso. We see these nubbins back here, the two nubbins up here, but it's just not vibrant enough. If you compare that to the ones out here, which are just painted on, the painted ones look way nicer. Uh, I love that they went for it, some down here too, but it just didn't work out. So I'll take that, it's okay. It just would have looked better, I think, overall, if they figured out some way to make those brighter. If they made a light-up version, boy, would that be cool. But it would cost a lot more. Anyway, the paints are really nice. The green, obviously, is nice and vibrant. It's pretty clean. It's not perfect. I think we're missing a little bit of purple down here in the feet because it's it's got that pattern going on above his clogs. So I'm not sure. Like I'm not super familiar with this suit design. But it looks it looks really good overall. Now, the one thing that bugs me a little bit not that he's gray on the packaging because he's not supposed to be gray, but that his head shows up so much better on there than in real life. Because in real life, it's a little bit too frosted. It's not polished. This should have really been a polished piece of plastic. And when you let the light through like that, it works nicely. That's what it's supposed to look like mostly. But when you put it in the body, it's not really even that it's frosted because you can see it's pretty clear there. But it's that it's got black all the way around it and no light source. Therefore, when you put it in here, you can't see the face really at all. It obviously can rotate, but that's definitely a downside. If you can figure out a way to like get a power source in there to light this dude up, that'd be so cool. Even if you had to have like a wire to another battery pack somewhere else on your display, that would be super cool. Anyway, this thing looks really nice. Could you make it look nicer with a wash and some dry brushing? Absolutely, but for a $20 release, this thing's lovely. Just quick comparison, $26, all reused parts, 
turd, turd, turd of a figure. And then twenty dollars. Are you are you kidding me? It's like what? That's why I picked this company. So yeah, aesthetically speaking, nine out of ten. It's very good for the price point. As far as accessories go, we get his, oh, by the way, I have to mention this. This is the second release, or I guess it could have come first. I think it's second though. It's not the Target exclusive one. This one has the accessories that I'm about to mention. Uh, the glowy plumes of radio radiation, the radiation, rather than the one hand with the skeleton and the belly figure part. This is the other release, the newer, I think, release with the two hand accessories. This one's available at Big Bad Toy Store. The other one was Target exclusive. So accessory wise, we do get the two hand things, which are very nice neon green, love that. Then we get the trading card, which looks a lot more purple, but still gray compared to the packaging, the other box art, whatever. I don't care about those. And we get the DC display stand, which is pointless. So uh, five out of 10 for accessories. The plumes are cool, but that's about it. Okay, articulation wise, you can rotate his head, even though it doesn't help. You know, I might even suggest this, and I'm not gonna like suggest it, suggest it, because it's probably a bad idea for those of you who shouldn't be doing this, but if you just cut out like, see that little rectangle right there? If you used an X-Acto knife and just cut that out, I'm not saying you should do this, but if you wanted to, it would probably be like some light piping in the old Transformers figures, and it would let enough light come through to see his face. I might do that. I really hate cutting a hole in the figure, but that might be cool. Anyway, articulation is a swivel up here. For the shoulders, we do get the butterfly joint that does let him go back just a little bit, which is kind of cool. They don't really go forward at all or any other direction too much. Bringing the arms up, these are soft, they can go over. So they work nicely, that's very good. I like that. Some pretty good shoulders compared to what we usually get. Bicep swivel is fine. Double jointed elbows have really nice range and they're not as ugly as some of the others we've seen. So I like that. Just want to point out, where'd it go? I want to compare this guy to the best action figure ever made as far as articulation is concerned, he said with a lot of sarcasm. Get the elbow bend. All right, let's set that one aside. Torso articulation, this guy's just two big ball pegs. Big ball peg up here, big ball peg down here. And this is hollow. I mean, this is like a squishy piece with a like a plug of plastic in there. So it leans to the side and back really well. There you go. Pose him a little bit. But it doesn't lean forward still that much, like almost none. That's really frustrating because there's really no reason for it, but they're still doing it. You get your rotation out of it. So all in all, it's a better torso than most figures we get these days, but it still can't lean forward. So that's a bummer. The hips are a little loose on mine going out to the side, way too loose for my liking. Going forward though, the diaper crunches nicely and he can kick, oh man. Should I, should I, should, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make the reference again. I'm gonna do it until people wake up. Best Spider-Man figure ever, kicking as high as he can possibly kick right there. Okay, I'm done. They go back a little bit. We'll get a cake rating, don't worry. Going out to the side full, oh, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'll just say it. Spider-Man can't do the splits. This guy can do full on splits. The joint is too loose, but very functional. Cake rating on this guy, ooh. Ooh. This guy gets an eight. This guy's got some gams. It's nice, okay. Thigh swivel on this. Some of you are gonna have no idea what that was about. It's because the McFarlane Toy Company tends to put a very noticeable cheek to crack ratio on a lot of their figures. So we give a cake rating to rate the quality of the buttocks on the figures from McFarlane Toys. All right, so thigh swivel is there-ish. Double jointed knee. It's good enough. It's not great. It's just better than 90 degrees. The lower legs are still pretty long. I don't know why these companies keep doing that. But this one's not as bad, that's okay. Ankles are still on the really crappy heavy ratchets. It's very hard to get them to find a neutral stance. I really think they should have had some purple down here. That's a shame. It's functional. You get a decent ankle rocker out of it. Not much. Actually, almost none because this part's hard. So that's kind of a bummer. So not the best ankles we've seen. And the toe joint is very loose and too far back in the foot. So that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, this guy definitely still suffers from some of the McFarlane um, articulation issues. 
but overall it's a pretty darn good release. I'll give the articulation a six. Some of it's really nice, some of it's not good at all, but that is a nice looking figure for a $20 price point. I'm very pleased with this. They did a definitely a good enough job with the paint, a really good job with the sculpt, and an acceptable job with the articulation. I am very, very pleased with this, and I have no attachment to this character at all. I couldn't be more unbiased about this review. And you guys know there's no love lost with me and really any company out there. <laughs> I call out the bad ones when they're bad ones. This one just happens to be really good. I'm gonna give this one a final rating of um, eight out of 10. If the articulation was a little better, it didn't have loose hips and things like that, it'd be a lot higher. If you could see the face in some way, if they figured out some way to do that, that would be better. But still, it's a really, I mean, you could argue for nine at the price point. It's a really, really nice release. And again, keep in mind, the ratings I give are because a lot of people asked for them. I don't really like them because you tend to compare different lines. Uh, an eight for McFarlane is not the same thing as an eight for Marvel Legends. Keep that in mind. Or like an 8 in Tamashii Nations is not equal to an 8 in Marvel Legends. Things like that. So just keep in mind, these are relatively isolated ratings, but somewhat compar comparable. Just to give you an idea. Some kind of um, metric, I guess. But either way, this is a really, really strong one. I definitely recommend you recommend you guys get it if you were thinking about it so there it is thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed you might want to i have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel so make sure you come back for all of that in the meantime keep collecting